start depending on what shape you want. And you bend it down in there, just like, if you get a good wet, it's almost like clay. You can mold it almost like you want it. And, uh, I always drop the back, which is back for the band here, a little ribbon, at the back of the crown, and generally put a little lower than the front. So you'll get this kind of a slant to it. And you crease it. Just keep going around. You get, make sure you got a straight though across this way, and get it even here in the front, so to make a good V, similar to that. And then make sure that you're in line with it this way, and you take it and start your V, similar to that. Make sure each side is the same. Look at it. See if it's level, like that. And once you get it set down, you can pinch that all the way around like that in the crease. You can always contend to that later. And keep it in that shape. And keep sighting down to see if you got it. Now see that's a little higher on this side than it is on that side. So you have to bend that over like that. And look down, and it looks pretty straight. I'll bring this up here. It's still high on this side, so I have to go down there a little. See, this is this is Dusty's hat, so I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> and you can make sure that it's nice oval that way. Then, after you get it up there, you get about that shape as you want, and you take this and push it up with just with your thumb and finger like that, so you'll have a little groove around here, and bring that to there, and on this side do the same thing, but just leave about a all three-eighths of an inch of the crown sticking up, and you push that right on up through the center. Then you go around, make sure that that's crease like that with the fingers inside the hat. Okay, try to keep your hat there because I'm uh huh? Keep the hat right there because I'm got I got a close up on it. Right there? Yeah. Okay, see the you press that in there and from the inside you have your hand in here and you keep working from both ways like that. And then you want to take it every once in a while and make sure that it's it's this shape so it don't get too round on you. Now you got that. Now you want to squeeze this again. And also fold that in there, see? And then then you start holding this up on the inside and going down with this middle part, pushing it down in like that. Keeping your fingers on the inside so you get that roll. Yeah, see there? Yeah. I keep going I follow the fingers around so you can hold this one up to keep it from going back down in there. And you push that down there. And you get it up as so that you can squeeze them together. Yeah, I got to And you got to give yourself enough room like that. You push it down just and when you get that up then you crimp this again so you got three two complete crimps and you bring this in and cramp it up like like that and then the, basically you turn it this is the last little roll see the center there mm -hmm. and because you go around each one of these things and crimp that the way you want you get it where it is you don't get get ahead of yourself and you don't have a new felt left <laughs> but uh, that is you crimp those things so where you can have enough room for another little thing to come up almost to the top. See, like that. Mm -hmm. And you can even crimp, crimp that a little bit. That's probably why I'm important. Uh, it's probably important to have that six and a half inch crown at least. Yeah, you really should have at least a six and a half inch crown because you'd have more felt to, to play with. And. Uh,
I'm going to put that up there like that. Crimp that. Almost almost not enough crown there, huh? Huh? I said just barely got enough crown in it as yeah, it is. Yeah, if you don't have a at least a six and a half inch crown, this is I'm stretching this into a now if you get a six inch crown you have to go down Go down a little here. farther, yeah. So you'll get more go down a little farther there, that'll give you a little more lift in the front. See that gives you more to work with. And that's basically what you need. And then, the, that's still a little high on this side, that's mm -hmm. put it down like that, see. And keep, make sure that, that it's, it holds that oval shape instead of getting out this way. And if you, when you get it fixed the way you want it, don't let it dry in a position that you don't, uh, even if it's crimped off a little crooked. And then you take this and get it the way you want, because that's stiff as a board. Now I'm going to put a little more water on it. Okay. Side of it and crimp it like that. And this, when you get it basically the way you want it and it's even across here, level across there, then you take, I'll let it down here for a second. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. We're on. Got it? Yep. Well, you take this and you fold it across this way and make you something like this where you can lay this across and bend it down like that and make sure maybe put a little band or a little tie around this end of it i don't have one here but to where you put it about where you want it to dry and you just leave it set there make sure that back end's down maybe check it an hour from an hour before mm -hmm. you go to bed tonight and bend it the way you want it mm -hmm. you know uh, cut it off mint dust okay we're on you're on yep well, you get it the shape that you like. Some type, some people like it up. And you take up. Some people like it up a little more than others. And you lay that across there so the back is down and the front is down. And you bend this up to where you want it, just approximately. Maybe a little more than you want it, mm -hmm. up to about there. And uh, give it a little square tie there. And then shape it the way you like it. And bend down on each end. And if you want to pull forward a little bit, you only have to slide that little band over. And see, that's pretty good shape right there. So you leave that across here so those it won't flatten out on you. If you put it on here, it'll flatten out and you'll lose your uh, arch shape on it. Yeah, front to back. Huh? Yeah, front to back, you'd lose that uh, cowboy curl from front to back. Like that? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, we got a... I pulled that off there. Probably a good idea to be sure that that tie that you tie yeah. it with is color fast or at least white because if you have a white hat and you put a red bandana on you could end up see, it, uh, it depends on ruining the felt because it is wet. See that's, that's pretty good right there. But make sure that it's across a towel or something like that that's, and then you want your exactly the way you want it then you don't touch it. Make sure that this is all level and then you leave it there overnight or you check it before you go to sleep and make sure that it's right. Maybe this little thing here might have to be pulled up a little or pushed down. But that's basically what it takes to, to make the new, new uh, crimp that I have on the hat that I wear all the time. I, uh, I did a layout of pictures for it. 
I think it was Look Magazine one time, of the different types of hats. And uh, this one I, I like myself in it better than the others, so I uh, held on to this type of a, a brim. It's, one of, it's my own crimp. So they have a lot of different kinds of this way. And yeah, we'll uh, cut here. And well, I'll give you an idea. Here's a hat that I, this type of a, a crease that I like. When I first started the pictures, the first uh, nine years of uh, making the pictures for the theater, that's the style I used. And then uh, when I made this one, uh, at 1940, first part of 47, 1947, I uh, changed to this style. And I liked it better, so that's the kind of wear today. And this is the same thing, only this is my son's. He's gonna, I did that for him, so he wanted to photograph it. Here he is. Happy trails.